With the largest inventory of bridges in the nation, making sure they are properly maintained and rehabilitated when needed is a time-consuming and expensive endeavor. But thanks to researchers from the University of Texas at San Antonio, a new and innovative system has been developed that utilizes highly sensitive cameras and specialized software. The uh, primary objective of this research is to uh, develop a digital image correlation system to extract bridge deformation data. Uh, when we say bridge deformation data, primarily is a, a strain and deflection uh, for assessment of bridge load rating. DIC technology is a technology that uses digital images and finds objects in those digital images automatically. We take pictures from two cameras and those two cameras we find the same target on a bridge using those cameras uh, and then from there we locate them in three-dimensional space and that gives us bridge deformations. If you know the deformations we can back calculate the forces in the structure and figure out how much capacity it can take. Part of the uh, objective was to uh, figure out long-term monitoring of uh, bridges uh, upon uh, some sort of damage or, or crack progression. Uh, so traditionally, we relied on consultants to do those load testing for us. Now that we have this system, uh, future load testings, for the most part, I see them being done in-house. Before the system, uh, TxDOT would have to go in and attach instruments on bridges, and it's not an easy thing, especially if the bridge is over a creek or over a road. You have to put scaffolding, get up there, attach these instruments to measure the formations. It can take several days. And now with the DIC system, we can do it in the morning, uh, in half a day. You could get up there, set up the cameras. This digital image correlation system is a useful uh, additional tool in the toolbox for us. And the researchers have provided all the necessary tools to text that personnel. You know, you don't have to go through a, a processing a contract, work authorization. If you have the an instrument at hand, you can go out and make some measurement yourself and quickly you can determine whether or not your, your bridge have the capacity that you want it to have. So it, it makes the process much easier for us now that we have this instrument at hand. The next steps is looking at other applications. So this was calibrated and set up for a bridge test. Uh, but you can look use it to do many other things. You can look at long-term movement of certain bridges uh, rapid detection of damage after, let's say, a hurricane or floods. You can go in with the cameras and very quickly assess where things stand. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.